Good morning guys, it's Tim from Motorhome Retrofits. Hope you're all keeping well. Today we're working on this 2016 Fiat Ducato Auto Trail Frontier. So it's coming in for quite a bit of work. We are installing, well we're removing the factory head unit and installing the Alpine X803 DC, which is the bigger uh, Alpine system, but with the camper trucking nav software so that you can set your profiles and stuff like that. We're also going to be doing the um, Alpine uh, radial speakers that are 100s which are already in there at the moment so I'll show you those because he wanted them in a bit quicker than the full install. Uh, we are fitting the Fiat Ducato Alpine specific central speaker, um, can't remember what it's called, I'll try and remember it later, and also the amplifier kit for said uh, subwoofer. So what we're going to do, I'm just going to quickly jump in there, show you how it all looks at the moment and then what we'll do is we'll probably then just jump straight forward to once all the work is done and then you can see how it all looks and works righty ho so let's just jump in to the Ducato so uh, coach built motorhome um, if I didn't mention it before um, we've got steering wheel controls the crappy basic uh, Fiat system and that's it it's pretty nice it's a pretty nice motorhome actually looks pretty decent nice and spacious spacious should I say uh, yeah so it just needs all of this upgrading so what we're gonna be doing is we're going to be removing uh, this system, fitting the Alpine X803, as I said, giving you a much larger screen. You're getting CarPlay, you're getting Nav, you're getting Bluetooth, you're getting DAB, you're getting everything. So this is all coming out. The RPC 100 radial speakers are in at the moment, but we've got they've got to be wired up. The um, the subwoofer, which is called the, the SWC D84S, I might try and show you some of the kit in a second but that is going to be going under there in the nice little slot it just it just slides in on in under there and then we're fitting the SWA 150 kit which is an amplifier kit for the subwoofer that's going to control everything so that will just be going behind the scenes so what we'll do is I probably will show you the kit that we're fitting as I mentioned these are the radial speakers and I'll go over them a bit further later on in the video and you can see the other one over there and uh, so yeah stay tuned Okay guys, so as I promised, I'm just running through some of the kit. I can't show you the radials, uh, the RPC 100s, just because they're already in the vehicle. But here is the D84S, 20 centimeter subwoofer. Um, I have got some specs here. 250 watt peak power, 75 watt RMS. So make of that what you will. So as I mentioned, this is gonna slip into the central console, all hidden, all nice, neat OEM, just to give you that extra warmth. Here's all its integration cables um, that come with the kit. So you've got an interface loom, well, two interface looms there, ISO lead, and all of that. So this is, um, sorry, the RPC 100s are considered the stage one of this whole upgrade when doing it. So you've got the radials, which will be here, the DWA4S here, and then you move on to the SWC. Uh, um, sorry, the D84S here, and then this is the, the subwoofer on its own. Sorry, the 150 kit. So then this is the stage three option, which is the 150 watt amplifier. It's called the SWC-D84S. It comes with, again, its own leads and interfaces. You've got your subwoofer controller just there. And as I mentioned, we're gonna be fitting this in all in conjunction with the X803DC-U. So a lot of kit. Um, it's going to be a big transformation in the vehicle, as, you've, as I just showed you. And uh, what we'll do is we'll get it all in, get it all fitted up, get it sounding lovely, and then uh, we'll check back in. Okay, guys, right, so after a long, very warm, sweaty day, we're all done and dusted. So just to recap, we started off with the Fiat VP2 navigation system up and over there. Um, nothing down there, but we had the radial speakers on the dash waiting to go. So... Um, I'm going to jump straight in and in a moment James will turn on the screen but not just yet um, so radial speakers are all in x803 with our usual custom splash screen it's an auto trail so we put the auto trail on it um, we've got the <coughs> under drinks holder subwoofer which has all been nicely down here. We've had to do a bit more of a custom install on this one just because the brackets are a little bit different. But yeah, it's all gone in quite nicely. And then the kit system, the 150 kit, is all behind the scenes and that's the amplifier for the subwoofer. But it's controller knob, that's the beauty of a battle motor, I can move around quite easily, is just down here. So if you want a bit more boom boom time, then you can 
push it to the positive or put it down for the negative. So, this vehicle, now normally when you fit the RPCs or the radials, you you normally dis well, you disconnect the tweeters and take them out anyway, but normally you take out the door speakers because they're usually rubbish and crap. But this one has got the Alpine Type R's in, I believe, that the customer's fitted himself. So we've left them wide in, but you can't ramp the power too much because of how you spit in the homage and, and boring stuff like that. So we put it all in. It's actually not too bad. It sounds really, really good. So what we're going to do is, I'm going to plug in my USB stick with our music that we're allowed to put in. Um, so whilst that's loading up, here's the X803D-U. And this is the DC version, which means that when you go to the navigation system, um, oh, I've lost the nav button, it's right there in front of me. You can go in here um, in your settings and change the profile of the vehicle. So you can put the height, the width, the length and the weight, I believe, so that it will, will only route navigate you into routes that you can do. So that's not too bit small for your vehicle. Now, it's also important to mention that this vehicle came with a um, coach built reversing camera, which was factory wired into the existing head unit. Um, so I'm just going to see if James can pop it into reverse now. It flicks over. Okay, so the picture is there. That was from the factory camera. And we've got to remember that we've gone from a really small, was it three inch screen maybe? Three inch screen. And then we've got this lovely big eight inch screen, but we've retained it. And if you've got a factory camera, then we should be able to do the same as well. So we'll just pop out of that. Now, as I mentioned as well, we've got the USB in here. And what James has done when he's wired it all in, he's retained things such as the USB port so that you don't have to have a new one sat on your dash. He's retained the GPS from the vehicle's um, VP2, so you don't have to have an aftermarket one on the dash, which Alpine sort of say you have to have. Um, we've had to fit the aftermarket front windshield antenna because you don't have any other option on a vehicle like this and then the microphone is down here in a nice sort of convenient location so that when the driver's talking it's in a, in a nice sort of area so on the x803 we've done another video on the advanced in car channel which we'll link to in this video of a full run through of this video but long and short of it you've got radio you've got dab you've got usb audio you've got music streaming you've got your reversing camera You've got your telephone Bluetooth, and when you plug in your uh, Apple iPhone or Android Auto device, it will all come up with there. So you've got things like Google Maps, Waze, and all of that sort of stuff. So what I'm going to just do, I'm just going to shut the doors, and we're just going to go to USB audio. And because we are licensed to use this music, I'm just going to find one. Maybe not to everyone's taste, but we've got these specific ones because of how it sounds in the vehicle. So we're just gonna pump it up, leave it for a couple of seconds, just so that you get an idea of how it sounds. I know it's YouTube and I know it's not really best practice to be able to show you audio that's been compressed, but compared to what we had this morning with the VP2 and just how it was all wired up, it sounded really tinny, didn't sound that great. But now all of this has come together. You've got your radials, your door speakers, we've got the subwoofer, we've got that 150 watt amplifier behind the scenes. It's a great, great upgrade. Um, we're gonna do some more videos uh, next time we get a vehicle in for this to show you how to install these yourself, how to install the 150 and how to install um, the subwoofer down there. Um, and just one last thing before I forget, um, one of the other retentions that we did is the steering wheel control. So all of these functions here will carry on working using one of our special steering wheel interfaces. Um, and yeah, a really great bit of kit. It's a decent wedge of money, but when you're spending that sort of time in your vehicle and these motorhomes aren't cheap either, um, it's, a, it's a good investment. So if you enjoy the channel and you like the motorhome videos, 
you don't normally hear me but make sure you subscribe to the channel it really does help us out it makes it a bit more worthwhile for us doing it hit the like button on this video and make sure you hit that bell notification so you know when we next upload another video to Motown Retrofits and as always thanks for watching